Hey guys, welcome to BamaQ Live. I'm Eric from the Rolling Grill here on behalf of Western Wood. And today we're cooking up a hot and fast corn and tin with a pomegranate molasses honey glaze. And to pair it up, we got some beautiful Brussels sprouts with bacon and blue cheese. You can't go wrong, baby. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna cut the Brussels sprouts. It's gonna be more like a hash instead of your typical Brussels sprout. Instead of doing just down the middle like that, we're gonna cut them and then we're gonna cross hack like a hash. It'll cook faster and you get caramelization all around the whole Brussels sprout as opposed to just cutting it down the middle. So again, cut, come across it a few times, watch your fingers, and there we have it. Now I used to hate Brussels sprouts as a kid, but I love them now because back in the day they smelled like sulfur and everybody wanted to, wanted to steam them instead of actually trying to try them up. So now Brussels sprouts are like a big hit in all the restaurants. All right, now that we got the Brussels sprouts ready to go, you got some bacon right here. You gotta have the bacon. Simple. Some places they call it lardon. We're just gonna call it some bacon strip. You wanna fan it out. You wanna cut it down the middle like this. Good sharp knife, fan it out. And we're just gonna make some little strips. Quick and simple, real easy. And this is compact Duroc bacon. Good stuff, the good stuff. Everybody's bacon's not equal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn our burner on. I've got some bacon already started over here. Make sure I got it good to go. And in the cast iron. And to me, cast iron is the perfect uh, skillet for this dish because the cast iron gets hot and it's gonna caramelize the heck out of these Brussels sprouts. So while that's going, I'm going to just sit here and stir my bacon. And the key to it is just to crisp it up as much as you can, try to render out as much of the bacon fat as you can. And no, we're not throwing the bacon fat away. So if your cardiologist is watching, then you might want to exclude the bacon and just go straight olive oil. But we're gonna go with bacon. Simple stuff. Now the key to it is to make sure you do not put these Brussels sprouts in there until this bacon is crispy. The bacon must be crispy. The fat must render. Now, we got it, we got it going. Now what I'm gonna do, garlic. Some people are like, why would you add the garlic? No, garlic, you need garlic. You need a lot of garlic. Garlic is good on everything. All right. Now we're not gonna salt this right now. The bacon is pretty salty. We don't need no olive oil, we don't need anything. What we will do though, while this is cooking up, is we'll go ahead and just a light drizzle just to get the Brussels sprouts going, but we're not gonna add much because the bacon has plenty of fat. And just a little drizzle. This is my QQ dust, any kind of seasoning. I mean, whatever you like, it, nothing, nothing, nothing special. The star of the show is the blue cheese anyway. And get in there. All right. All right. Some of our bacon has still got a little ways to go, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and get it going. In the cast iron. Now, what you don't wanna do is overcrowd the pan. Let it cook down a little bit, wilt it down a little bit, turn it up as high as you can. And actually what we're gonna do, again, we are cooking live fire. We're coming over here super hot over here. And while that's cooking, you want to keep stirring. And this right here is uh, lump charcoal right here. We didn't add any hardwoods to it. I will drop a few of the Western hickory chips in here once I cover it up. But for now, we're going straight lump charcoal. All right. You know what? I'm going to leave that just like it is. We'll save those for, for later. Let's concentrate on this. All right. So while that's cooking, let's cover it up. Before I do, let me grab, if I can find them, my wood chips. Hickory chips. 
secret chips. Not only is it going to add some good flavor, and you know, we just want to throw them through that. We don't need many. The lump is going to give you the heat. The wood, ch chunk, wood ch chips are going to give you the flavor. We're going to choke it back just a little so we don't burn the chip too bad. Let it roll. This has already been washed. Cornish hens usually come in the grocery store two in a pack, usually about seven bucks or so for two. And all we want to do, you could of course use a knife if you wanted to, but I mean, who don't like to crack stuff with a good pair of scissors? The backbone is really fragile, so you can just go right through it. Press it out like you would do a spatchcock chicken, right down the bone. Now you got two halves. To me, corn and thin is the perfect meal for like, you know, if you got some folks coming over, everybody, chicken, chicken gets boring after a while. Corn and thin kind of dresses up the deal a little bit. So, salt and pepper, garlic, SPG. First, heavy coat, heavy. All right. Now, I'm a fan of the, the cooking spray. I'm going on with this first. Now, whatever your favorite rub is, this one right here has honey powder and some sweet stuff. It also got a little kick to it. But whatever you like, start with the bottom bone side down, bone side up first. And now, this is the presentation side. It's money shot. Chicken is ready to go. Let's turn our attention back to the Brussels sprouts. And you'll see me changing our gloves a lot because we definitely don't want to cross contaminate. All right, you can see we're starting to get a little bit of color. It's breaking down really good. We're starting to get a little bit of color. If you feel like you don't have enough fat from the bacon, no worries. That's what olive oil is for. Now you can see they're starting to render. I'm gonna let I like mine charred up real good. So I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna need more olive oil than that. As you can see at the bottom, it's starting to starting to uh caramelize a lot over there. So we're gonna put that back on. The key to this right here, choke it off a little bit. Since I know it's hot in there, I'm gonna choke it off. I just want to smother it in smoke. While I'm doing that, turn my attention back to the beautiful corn cans. Now, I'm going to go ahead and place these corn cans in this barrel. I've got uh, Western cherry wood that I'm going to be smoking with. Cherry wood gives it a beautiful color. Now you got to you got to season that. Drag that. You got to drag that. All them good seasons. You got to drag it. And I'm going to do it skin side down. Skin side down. I'm going to run this at about hot and fast. 375, 400 is perfect. 400 is perfect because, again, we want to roast it. We want it to roast. It's going to take about 45 to 50 minutes, and it's done. But we already got some ready to go. Go ahead and take these corner skins out. Forty-five minutes, fifty-five minutes at about four hundred degrees, they're perfect. And while that's sitting there, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make the glaze. The glaze is super simple. Super, super simple. Alright. For the glaze. Alright, guys. Let's see. Let's get everything we need. Alright. Star of the show, pomegranate molasses, honey, roasted garlic, and last but not least, sambal chili paste. This stuff right here, if you don't know about it, that stuff right there is phenomenal. That is the glaze right there. All right, so let's go ahead and get it. Get it going. I'm gonna wipe out my bowl a little bit. First things first. 
roasted garlic. I like a lot of garlic. I'm going to say that's probably about two tablespoons. Next thing, honey. Don't measure, but I'm going to say that's a tablespoon. That's a tablespoon. I'm going to go with two tablespoons. This right here is sweet and, and, and tangy all together. Chili. I like it spicy. This has already got garlic and nice chili flakes in it. Beautiful. Now, start the show. I'm going to go, that's about a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to go with about two tablespoons. Because again, it is pomegranate. It is a pomegranate molasses glaze. And you just want to whip it up. You don't have to cook this down. That's why I use roasted garlic. It's already cooked. A little SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. Me, I don't. I like to put this on the the corner tin right when I'm getting ready to plate. So let me put that right there. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm going back to the Brussels. Oh yeah, you can smell them. You can smell them. Now. This is when the magic happens. Blue cheese, crumbled blue cheese. Not gorgonzola, blue cheese. And if you like a lot, add a lot. The blue cheese, the crumbled blue cheese is gonna kinda like bind it all together, break down, beautiful. And I'm adding all of it. I'm adding all of it. Be careful, this pan is hot. And now I'm going to take them off. I'm going to put this back up here. So I have somewhere to place it. Pomegranate molasses, the honey. And you just want to stir it in real slow. And you can see it starting to break down the cheese. This is big. This is money right here. All right. So let's get the money going. Let's get the money shot going. Corn is in. Perfect for a gathering. Perfect for a gathering. Now we're gonna add all this. Who doesn't like Brussels sprouts? You got the Brussels sprouts, you got the bacon, you got the blue cheese. You take the beautiful Cornish hens. And just rub that all over. Now, if you wanted to glaze it in, you could, of course. But I've already caramelized this chicken enough. It's just here now just to add some, to give us some beautiful presentation and a nice little bit of tangy sweet. And that's it, my friends. That right there is a beautiful, hot and fast, corny can with the beautiful, Rusty, roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon and blue cheese. Two crowd, please. I want to thank y'all for joining me here at Bama Q Live. I'm Eric from the Rolling Grill. On behalf of Western Woods, catch y'all in the next one.